Welcome back to another Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this one, I'm showing you how to install OpenCV. What is OpenCV? OpenCV is a library of programming functions mainly aimed at real-time computer vision. I have my terminal window open here, and I'm going to SSH into my Raspberry Pi. If you have your Raspberry Pi connected to a monitor, then you can just open up a terminal. So I need to run SSH Pi at Raspberry Pi. That's my host name. Maybe you type in your IP there. Yes, because it's the first time I'm going in, and then my password. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our file system. So run the command df-h, and what we want to look to see here is if we're using all of our memory, if we have access to it all. If your totals don't match up just right, then you're going to have to do expand file system. How to get there is we're going to run sudo raspy dash config to get into here go down to advanced options push enter and then this one enter again to expand file system you're gonna have to reboot your Pi and then restart I don't need to do that so I'm gonna go back finish and moving on as with any tutorial I would be remiss not to tell you to sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade Okay, now let's check our Python version. Python dash capital V. I'm running Python 3.9. If you're running Python 2, then maybe try Python 3 dash V. We should be running Python 3 for this. So if you didn't get any way to find a Python 3 version, then I would suggest go install a Python 3 version and then come back to this tutorial. Anyway, moving on, we're going to install pip and then virtual env. All these commands, you can follow along with timestamps and instructions in the description. Enter. Y. Next, Control L to move it to the top just so it's easier to see. And I'm going to create my project directory. MKDIR for make directory project. And then I'm going to change directories into project. Next, let's create a Python virtual environment so that when we install packages through pip, everything is contained just in this area and we don't get any package conflicts. To do that, virtual env, env. So I'm calling it env here. And now if I do ls, I have this file folder called env. So if I run the command source env bin activate, you'll see the little env shows up right here, which means my virtual environment is activated. Next, we need to install a bunch of system packages in order for our OpenCV to interpret things like JPEGs, video files, matrix operations, and all of that. This is just a bunch of packages, so I'm going to have a big long list that you copy and paste into your Raspberry Pi command prompt. Here we go. It's a bunch of them. And then, for an interesting fact, I'm going to go to the beginning and type time before everything so we can see how long this takes. All right, so that took about two minutes. I'm running it on the 4B. If you're running this on a zero or an older model like a three, it might take a little longer. I would just like to give credit to this website, Single Board Bytes, for helping me figure out which of those packages to install. Okay, moving on. I understand that a lot of people are using the Pi camera. I myself use a USB webcam, but if you're using the Pi camera, for OpenCV projects, you need to run this command. pip install, in quotes, pi camera, square brackets, array. Enter. And now we're ready for the finale to install OpenCV into our Python. You got two options here. OpenCV-contrib.python and then just plain OpenCV-python. And so what are the differences? On this Stack Overflow website, somebody asked that exact question, and here's what they say. OpenCV-Python just has the main modules, so if you're not doing as much with OpenCV, I would install that. It's going to install faster and be lighter on your machine. And then the other one is the full package. So it has main modules and then also contrib and extra modules. So you're able to do a bit more with your OpenCV installation. I'm going to install OpenCV-Contrib-Python. 
So what do I do? pip install opencv contrib python. Let's also add the time thing at the beginning because this is going to take about two hours. If you just install opencv python, it's going to take significantly less time. Let's go. Enter. Okay, two hours later, a little less, you can see. 119 minutes and 8.784 seconds. And we've installed it. Now let's test. Python. To get into a Python interpreter, and then run import cv2. Imported. Great, no issues. And now we're going to do cv2 dot double underscore version double underscore. 4.5.5 and we've installed OpenCV successfully. Let me know if you have any questions. This is just a tutorial for installation, not a tutorial for usage. So let me know if you want me to do a usage tutorial or if you have any problems. Give it a like if it was helpful. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of these Raspberry Pi tutorials. Happy coding!